makes you forget about the greatness of God. When you get bogged down in fear, I promise you, you're forgetting about all that God has done for you. You're forgetting about what God has done. Because let me tell you what happens when, when you get bogged down in fear. Fear is so demonstrative that it causes you to slide over from the driver's seat of your heart. And when you're not in the driver's seat, and fear instead is in the driver's seat, you're sitting in that middle part, you know, nobody likes to sit in the middle up front, you know what I'm talking about. Man, it's uncomfortable, you got that thing sticking in your back, you know, the seatbelt's way too thin, I don't care what they say. You're having to, you know, dodge elbows when they go to turn corners, you know. It's, it's just, it's the worst place to sit. And when you allow fear into the driver's seat, that's what you're doing. It's pushing you out of the way. The, the most dangerous thing about that is that you can't see in the rear view mirror. You see, the reason that when you're in a situation, the reason you need to be able to see in the rear view mirror is you need to be able to look back at what God has done for you in the past. And if your perspective is out of the purview of that rearview mirror, you can't see what God has done for you in the past. Fear takes up so much space, so much energy, that it pushes you out of the driver's seat. And you can't see what God has done for you. Listen to me. I dare you to look in the rearview mirror of your life and tell me that God has not been faithful to you. I dare you to look in the rearview mirror of your life and tell me that God has not brought you out. I dare you to look in the rearview mirror of your life and tell me that God has not healed you in the past. I dare you to look in your rearview mirror and tell me that God has not worked miracles for you. He's not provided for you. He's not been good to you. I dare you to look in your rearview mirror and tell me that God has not been good to you. Somebody needs to tell fear. To slide over so that you can look in the rearview mirror and remind yourself of the faithfulness of God. Because God's faithfulness in the past is the best predictor of his future favor and provision for your life. Come on, if you believe that, give God some praise in the house. 